Also happening in Clark County today, members of a Wisconsin church making a two day drive to Shibuta to help a December flooding victim. Twin States News, Ben Lockridge has a story. I love it. I uh, love doing mission work. Um, as we heard before, is it's our cup filler. This is what we do. This is what we love to do. If we could do it all the time, we would. This was just awesome for us. We love doing it. We love helping people. A group of missionaries from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, have been hard at work all week in Shibuta, Mississippi, all to get a woman back into her home after being displaced following the December floods that affected many in Clark County. We were scheduled to go to Louisiana. They had called us and told us that uh, all their projects were done. And then we set out and emailed about nine states. And Mississippi was the first one to get back to us. And so we were like, all right, what do you got going on? And they told us that Shapuda was an area that needed some flood recovery. And we're like, we're in. The missionaries say the reasons for helping others connects to their faith. It's, it's a great way just to get away from the state of Wisconsin and it's kind of a vacation for a lot of us that do this in the first place because we use our own time away from our jobs to come and do this. And then second is to get closer to God, get closer to Jesus. This helps me understand why I'm here, what my life is supposed to be about. And I've always felt this call to help other people, especially through this kind of mission work. The majority of the group have already been on previous mission trips and encourage others to serve. My dad and my sister went to New Orleans to do cleanup for Hurricane Katrina. And they came back and they were, just saw their passion that they brought back and I was like, I want to go. And um, the year after I was able to go on a trip um, to Jamaica and do that work and ever since it's just been one of those things that gotta go every year and serve somebody. In Shibuta, Ben Lockridge, Twin States News. For privacy reasons, we were not allowed to mention the name of the homeowner, but we are pleased to report they will return home this weekend, just in time for a birthday celebration.